Hello guys, welcome to explain a video. Please subscribe to channel. Why the future of Belarus matters to the United States. On Monday night, heavily armed security forces poured into the streets of Minsk, the capital of Belarus, to quash massive and growing protests against five-term president and Putin ally Alexander Lukashenko. Police crackdowns, replete with rubber bullets, tear gas, and arrests, have followed an election on Sunday that the U.S. State Department said isn't free and fair. The main opposition candidate, Svetlana Tikhanovskaya, has fled to Lithuania, but not before recording a video in which she nervously and solemnly reads a statement urging Belarusians to accept the official, though internationally disputed, election results in favor of Lukashenko. Shortly after her statement, the Lithuanian foreign minister suggested that she made it under duress. Her husband, an opposition journalist, has been jailed in recent weeks. Meanwhile, the Belarusian government has blocked the internet throughout the country and several prominent journalists have been arrested or simply missing. But opposition forces continue to reach audiences via apps such as Telegram. The episode has echoes of Ukraine's 2014 revolution of dignity in which Ukrainians rejected the pro-Putin rule of Viktor Fedorovich Yanukovych. Similarly, what happens next in Belarus could have profound consequences for democratic movements in Eastern Europe and even the US military presence there. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to your YouTube channel.